pulling back up. What's going on everybody? Steve's got Tom and in today's video we are doing some stuff to my car, doing some stuff to Gage's car who just got here, but I gotta move these two cars. Yo man. Yo, it's fucking hot. Dude, I know. I just stepped outside for the first time all day today and it's fucking steaming. This is my first time not driving manual in blazers. It was pretty weird. Yeah, that was, I usually only drive in these shoes and then I started driving in my DCs and now I can drive in anything. Finally put in the clear lens, or the clear bulbs. So the clear tails actually look good now. They used to look like trash and I hated them. How did your car get dirty so fast? Man, <laughs> I, I drove it like a hundred miles since uh, actually like just yesterday alone. What a badass. Look how good them taillights look. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, it is it is like 90 degrees outside. Yeah, it's a little hot. I'm gonna be working with my meat out today. Yeah, me too. So basically in today's video, Gage's rear camber is going to be deleted a camber delete uh, and then on my car and then on plant on my <laughs> car i'm putting in my new headlights my new fog lights um there's a couple other things i don't think my corner showed up yet though so that kind of sucks i would have brought my spare i think i actually might have maybe four or five in my shed okay so one of them might go on maybe i'll have one amber and one clear that's that's what today's video is going to be all about is is how much fun it is to like fix these things yeah so uh let me go get my parts i break for god girls <laughs> yes, dude. it's fire if you have an e36 you should probably get one of these side plate things so Snap you can on. jack up without it being on wood this is gage's first time using it and he does not trust it at all but he doesn't know that i left the jack out in the rain for probably two months so that's why I brought him the jack stand, but I don't even think he's going to use it. He's crazy. No, when you build an E36 properly, you'll know you do it right when you jack up the back and that front tire is off the ground. Yeah. If you don't want camber on your car in the rear, which I don't... Oh, damn, this shit is hot. I don't even blame you, but to do it, you loosen this nut, turn the bolt, and then tighten it back up when the wheel is straight. And I'm going to get started on my headlights now if you look at gage's car you'll see that he has the european glass headlights which are pretty sick and i did not buy those because them bitches were 350 bucks and the ones that i bought were 80 dollars so be real to my shed of parts all i found were my oem ambers so i'll put those in it's funny in my shed i had like probably four or five uh left side driver sides and then no uh passenger sides so like it just shows you that this is the side that always falls out. To do this, we're gonna cut all these zip ties, <laughs> um, take out this headlight, take out that headlight, put the new ones in. Gage over here, on the other hand. I'm trying to strat. <laughs> Yo. I don't think I need Yo, to. the ratchet through the wheel is crazy. I, I might need an extension. <laughs> Here's an extension. Oh, so, I just came over to start taking off my headlight. This was broken. This is completely broken on this side broken 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 so both headlight brackets are broken that's why they can literally just like it's clapped it really is clapped but that's finally gonna change gauge over here is still trying to get dude this fucking bolt all right to be fair we only oh. he's only been at it for like five minutes so i but also he... burnt myself three times bb bell showing for the thumbnail would be way too funny right? Doing this at your house for fun, and then gave up and CSGO gambled. Yeah, that's a great point. One is out. Dude, mop around like this. Right? Intake, bitch. I should have just like started an unboxing YouTube channel instead. So I could just like open up these boxes and be like, all right guys, uh, that's what it looks like inside the box. Thanks for watching. Send me cool packages so I can unbox them on camera. Instead, I gotta like open the box and then like do something about it. Getting in this car. Ooh, bitch! What? What? Dude, Look at this. Look at this difference. Can you guys fucking see this shit? Oh my god. 
I mean, there's probably a difference, but that's three hundred fifty dollars versus eighty dollars. This still has the plastic on it, though. Yeah, he ain't got city running lights though. I yeah, you're right. To do uh, headlights, you get like these kind of screws, and the bolts get stuck in them. Adjustable wrench, and your uh, your little ratchet here. Turn that bitch right out. Get that screw right out them fucking little twisters. All right, Gage is now, he has the nut loose, and he's gonna turn it till this wheel straightens itself out, man. Oh Wait, my why God. Why don't I just get the extended? Are you, am I fucking stupid? Probably. Why do I need a swivel if I have extensions? True, you have a lot of extensions. <laughs> All right, so I did a little bit of building off camera. No headlights, no bumper. No. And I was gonna put my, I'm still gonna put them in. My fog lights, I guess I scraped through the connector on not one, both sides. Both sides scrape there. Both sides. 18. <laughs> Bro, you ain't even got an 18. Not really not. No, you have a 16. Oh my. Wait, why do you have a 16? That's. I was just talking about this in the other video. I don't know. All right, Gage just got one side done. And he's saying he doesn't see a difference in camber. I feel like I definitely do. That side's done. This side's not. Um, I'm still doing my headlights. I got one in so far, but it started to rain a little bit So I put you know some some of my ponchos over top of it Look at how much nicer that this headlight looks and it still has a plastic on it new headlights are in the orange markers are on it Just for just for now. I'll take that plastic off oh. More on the top there It looks so much better than the old ones did. Ignore the fitment of uh, these for right now, because obviously these are going to get changed out. But finally, back together. Gage just started doing the other side. He seems to think that the camera did not adjust, but I, I swear it did. Gage loves uh, working on BMWs too, by the way. I do this as a hobby, guys. $350 headlights versus... $80 headlights. I, you tell me, okay? You don't got city running lights. I don't got the city lights, but I also don't have the glass lenses or the cool lines in it. But dude, $80 versus $350. When uh when doing fog lights, it is so much easier to just take the bumper off and lay it on the ground like this. Not if you're at stock ride height. Unless if you're at stock ride height. If you don't have a steez lip on. Like you can tell it's a steez lip by the self tappers that just kind of poke through at weird angles. You want to know the uh, the easiest way to put it on? What? The normal clips. <laughs> what? Where for you just pop it in. Oh yeah, yeah I guess. <laughs> I'm just I'm just caveman and that you know how I roll, dude. Wait, do you, are your clips broken? Or you just grab the flathead and pop the fog light out? Oh, well, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't I don't I do like transmissions and clutches on these cars. I don't do fucking fog lights. So, you go in with a flathead, you push this, uh -huh. and the fog light comes right out. Fuck that, dude. <laughs> Fuck that. Now we have new headlights. You can no longer see that ugly, like, red that you used to be able to see behind the high beams because of this bullshit. This is all going to the trash. And then this, they're high beam LEDs. Yeah. So this lines up perfectly. This one doesn't, and it looks like trash, but it's only because um, I don't have my clear markers in yet, so... That'll get fixed. I'll get my fog lights wired in so they actually work. But Gage's car no longer has camber. It's got and like negative seven in the back. He swears it does, but I promise him he's I just like crazy. Like three in the back of you are so crazy, dude. Uh -huh. I think the front got less still, even though the front has the camber now. Dang, dude. The new headlights really do make it look so much I better. I've been told to replace your headlights since I got my headlights because I knew it was going to make my car like a thousand times better. I know. It's like, just the fitment's pretty funny. But it, dude, when it When you looked, turn them on, that's literally going to be pointing at the floor. I know, probably. Well, let's turn them on. Those are the headlights. Those are the headlights. So much better. But you can see the fog lights aren't going to work. Dude, that looks like it was in a collision. Whatever. It's all going to get straightened up eventually. All right, so we have the, the two cars pulled up so we can compare. This is the $350 European projector. You can see projector light, city light is installed. They are glass, they have those lines, they look good. They look so much better, but they are so much more expensive versus the OEMs 
you can see not projector plastic no cool lines uh, but they are new and they are clean and these are only $80 like I said ignore that fitment and ignore the fact that they're still orange there's a comparison for you Gage's car has no camber in the back and he does not believe me at all but if you look at like especially comparing to mine obviously I'm gonna have more this is all stock adjustment though all right so maybe maybe from all the way back here maybe he does have a little bit of camber Gage is heading out of here we got the driveway cleaned up if you like today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up um, if you made it this far uh, consider subscribing thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video peace